Welcome to our lecture online. So now let's find the area bounded between curves that are defined by exponential functions. The overall methodology, of course, will be the same, but let's see what it looks like in this particular case. The two functions that we have are y equals e to the 3x and y is equal to the x. Both functions cross the y-axis at y equals 1 when x equals 0. And notice it's also bound by the line x equals 1. So there's the area we're trying to find. And you can see that the dA, the small area element, is defined as the upper function minus the lower function for the height. That would be y1 minus y2 times the width, which is a dx. And so we can find the area by taking the integral from, and these are going to be x limits, so from x equals 0 to x equals 1, of the functions y1 minus y2 times dx. So that will be a small area element dA. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1. y1 is e to the 3x minus y2, which is e to the x, times dx. And let's see here. I think we want to split it up into two separate integrals because the exponential here being 3x, we need the proper differential. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the 3x times dx and then minus the integral of e to the x times dx with the same limits from 0 to 1. Now notice, since we have an e to the 3x there, we're going to need a proper differential 3dx, and so we have to compensate by writing 1 over 3 here. So now we're ready to go ahead and integrate both integrals. So let's go ahead and integrate this now. So this becomes equal to 1 third e to the 3x, and then here, minus e to the x, and we have to evaluate that from 0 to 1 since both of them, of course, have the same uh, integration limits. So when I plug in the upper limit, I get this is equal to 1 third e to the 3 times 1, that's e to the third, minus e to the first power, and then minus when I plug in the lower limits, plug in the 0 here, I have 1 third e to the 0, e to the 0 is 1, that gives me 1 third, and here we have minus, when I plug in the 0, e to the 0, which is 1, so I get a minus 1. All right, so we need to clean that up a little bit. Let's see here, we have 1 third e to the third power, so that stays the same. I have a minus e, and here I have a 1 third minus 1, which is minus 2 thirds times a minus 1, which is plus 2 thirds. And that looks like that would be a good way to put the answer. And that would then be the answer for the area between those two curves. It's not a nice number. I guess we can get a calculator and type it out, but that's good enough for us. That would then be the area bounded by those two exponential curves in the line x equals 1. And that's how it's done.